Hi, let's have a look what we're going to create today. As mentioned in the video, it is not the beginner's tutorial. This video is directly to the point we are gonna achieve. Alright, so here is the song. Now let's type the lines like we normally do. Select the text tool click anywhere on the screen to type. Let's choose a nice font. I think this looks better. Align it in the middle. Let's erase it, we'll create another layer for this text. Open position of this text layer, and create keyframe. Go back a little and change the position value. Select both keyframes, right click and choose easy ease. Go to the graph editor and make a curve like this. Bring these keyframes closer a little. There's a mistake in the text. Let me fix it first. Alright. Create a new keyframe, go forward and change the value. Trim the layer, adjust it according to the singer. Duplicate this layer. Open the keyframes and select two middle keyframes and change the position. Now type the other line of the song. Let's increase the typeface. Tweak the position again. Move these a little bit, to give it some variation. Let's duplicate these two layers. Put them above and move forward. Change the text. Let's change position of this text. Adjust these according to the song lines. Perfect. Now I'll show you another method of animating the text, then I'll fast forward this process as we're doing the same thing. Let's type the other line. Bring its opacity down. Now type each word separately like I am doing. Open scale and set it like so.
Select both, easy ease them and play with the graph editor. Now put it above the text. Duplicate it and move it to the next word, and type the respected word. Do it with all the other words. Delete the full text layer. Now move these text layers to match the words she is singing. Tweak it until it fits the song. Select all these layers and trim them. Now open opacity and create keyframes like I'm doing. Move them randomly to give a nice fade out effect. Perfect. Now let me show the last method to create text animation. Create a new text layer and type the line. Set scale keyframes like this. Trim the layer. Open opacity and create keyframes with random values. It'll give it flickering effect. Like this. Alright now I'm fast forwarding this process as I'm gonna do the same all over and over. So here is all the text. Let's play it quickly. What a beautiful voice. I really love this song. Alright. Let's select all the text layers, right click and recompose them. Press Ctrl plus Y to create a new solid layer, name it as Particles. Drag and drop CC particle world effect on this layer. Now tweak the settings like I'm doing.
Now let's recompose this layer. Name it as Visuals 1, and be sure to check this option. Now drag and drop mirror effect on this layer. Tweak the settings like so. Now drag it once again and tweak once more. Cool right? Now drag and drop turbulent displace effect and do like I'm doing. It is all about playing around, keep in mind that your main objective is to keep these visuals moving. Do not let it stop moving, just keep it moving constantly. You can play with any property to make it move in different ways, for example rotations, positions and many more. Just don't let it stop. Now go to the visuals composition and here open rotation. Play around with these. Now hold out button and click the stopwatch and type this code here. It'll move like this randomly. Ok so that was the main idea of creating the visuals. You can make duplicates of these visual layers, and make it more massive and beautiful. My job was to give you an idea of what could be possibly done with these effects, and I hope you get it. Ok, see here I have duplicated the same layer and made different adjustments with different kind of particles. This layer contains tiny slim particles. This contains edgy, but big particles. This layer contains huge particles, and I will use these huge particles on the beat drop of the song. And these particles layers are just for the intro. As you can see there is not much particles here. Now in the main composition, we just have to put them beneath the lyrics layer. Like this, see I have put the particles with less visuals at the intro, and particles with huge visuals at the beat drop part. This effect takes too long to accomplish, so that was the basic idea I want to share with you guys. You can play around with any property to keep it moving and in rhythm. Duplicate the layers to get more beautiful and massive visuals. Change the values of the turbulent displace effect and so on. I hope you learned something new and unique. If yes, then subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Also thank you for 2500 subscribers. I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Till then goodbye.